A Yukon man wants someone held accountable after he found that hateful symbol burned right into his yard. News 9's Jordan Frimstead tells us investigators at the highest level are trying to figure out who drew it. People live in communities like Yukon for several reasons. The quietness. The sounds you hear is one reason for Stan Sells. That's my own yard. But Stan stumbled upon something he says speaks volumes. Yep. About the person who burned this swastika into his yard. Disgusting. In disgust. Feel sorry for the individual. According to the United States Holocaust Museum, extremist groups use the symbol to promote hate. However, Stan is not Jewish. No. It isn't clear if this incident is related to the anti-Semitic flyers that were being left in people's mailboxes. However, we do know that the FBI is looking into who made this sign. Stan's home rests about three miles from Harvest Hills, where people received those flyers. And they've been happening almost weekly or every other week. Jewish Federation Executive Director Rachel Johnson says her office received more of these reports this year. We try to not call too much attention to them just so the, the group doesn't get any sort of recognition. Moments like this, Johnson says, inspire the good people in the community. Seeing how many people have come to us with the reports of the flyers and letting us know that they are here to support us. But it doesn't take away the pain this symbol caused, no matter what the hidden message is behind it. If you could say something to the individual that did that, what would you say? Grow up. You mean, you should, you know, grow up, basically. This is Jordan Fremstead. What kind of life is that to have that all that hate? Oklahoma Zone, News 9.